What's up everybody, it's your girl back for another video. So in this video I'm going to talk about the movie Unplanned about Abby Johnson. It is a true story. It shows her life at Planned Parenthood. She was the director at Planned Parenthood. She ran her own Planned Parenthood clinic for eight years. She believed in a woman's right to choose. She was very passionate about what she did there. She's even had abortions herself and she, you know, changed her tune when she finally witnessed an abortion on ultrasound. She went in there to help with, assist with an abortion procedure. They were doing it on ultrasound this time. That's something they typically don't do. They typically do it blindly. And when she saw the baby fighting for its life, she completely changed her mind at that point. And I'm probably gonna say some graphic things if you get triggered and you can't handle it. Turn off the video now. So. When she witnessed the first trimester abortion on ultrasound, she saw as the suction device went into the uterus, she saw the baby actually try to get away from it. She then saw a leg come off because they actually vacuum suction out. It's very powerful, the baby. So the vacuum sucks extremely hard and first the leg came off, then another leg and the baby was wiggling and fighting for its life and you can see the little mouth opening then some fingers started coming off and then all of a sudden you know the rest of the baby went down the little tube and she also stated that when the head cannot fit and it doesn't crush the head they will use a long prong device that they will insert into the woman they will uh, close it and it smushes the head and then they will pull it out so when she actually witnessed this, she wanted nothing to do with Planned Parenthood from that day forward. She believed abortion is murder, it's wrong, and she went up against one of the most powerful organizations in this country, Planned Parenthood. So um, I thought it was a great movie. It should not have been rated R. Um, I took my teenage daughter, well, she's a preteen. We took her to go see it. I suggest, you know, if you're watching this and you have a teenager, boy or girl, this would be a great movie for them to see because when they're in school and college, they're going to tell them about Planned Parenthood, but they're not going to tell them the truth. They're going to make it seem like it's this compassionate, warm place that a woman can go to feel safe and have, you know, her uh, pap smears done and her breast exam. And if she does get pregnant, she can go have it taken care of and nothing will happen to her. That is all false. Most Planned Parenthood facilities do not do pap smears. They do abortions at all of them. They strategically place them in low-income neighborhoods because Planned Parenthood was created by Margaret Sanger, an actual racist who believed that poor women and you know women of certain ethnicities um, and nationalities, black women, um, Italian women, Irish women, those poor immigrant women coming to this country, having baby after baby. She didn't want that. She didn't like that. They created a way to exterminate these babies and make it seem like it's all about a woman's right to choose. The left in this country convinces us American women that it's okay to kill your own baby. Don't value being a mother. Value your career. Value traveling and having fun. Be all about yourself. Be selfish. Don't let a baby hold you down. You know, that's what they convince women to be, these masculine, dominant, conceited, uh, you know, cunts, okay, that only care about themselves and only care about material objects. When in fact, the woman was designed to give birth, have babies, nurture them. That's what we're here to do, like it or not, okay? That is, that is a woman's... Uh, it's, it's really our obligation, okay, straight up. And I understand some women have fertility issues. I get it. But that is what we were here to do. We're not here to worry about our career and how we look and all that. A woman is not supposed to be selfish. We're supposed to be selfless, nurturing, emotional. And in the movie, they portray some of the director women of Planned Parenthood, the women all the way at the top. I call them the Grand High Witches. These are the women that are all the way at the top of the Planned Parenthood organization. Every one of them is a dominant, masculine, single, childless, conceited, selfish, like I said, cunt, bitch, okay? Um, that's what they want all women to be. These 
um, sarcastic, talking back, know-it-alls that only care about how nice their car is, their clothes, going out, having fun, traveling, not being a mother. They think that's disgusting, being at home raising kids. They look down on women like that. They call women like that losers. But in fact, they're the losers because they're the ones that are going to be unfulfilled later in life. You don't get to take your sports car and your house and all that good stuff with you when you die. What you leave behind is your lineage. You live through your children, and if you don't have any, and you know, you don't leave anything behind. I'm going to live through my children, and then when they have children, I'll live through their children. But anyway, let me just say some of the notes that I wrote down. From the moment of conception, unique, unrepeatable DNA is formed. That DNA is human. So when a woman goes and kills her own baby, she's destroying and killing her own flesh, blood, and DNA. This DNA is unrepeatable. So she can go out and have more babies from the same partner, but they will never be able to create that combination of DNA ever again. So for me, that, that's powerful. That just shows that that little person was supposed to be here. You know, I'm just going to say this. My husband is an actual abortion survivor. My mother-in-law is extremely liberal, hardcore liberal. And, you know, she went to have an abortion, and it was unsuccessful, thank goodness. Because if he wasn't here, my children wouldn't be here. Maybe I would have had children with someone else, but I wouldn't have the exact children I have today. There's so much that wouldn't be if he wasn't here. And my birth mother wanted to abort me. She was young. She was doing drugs. She was, you know running away from home and doing things like that and you know her and my dad were married but they only got married because they had my brother a year before and but they weren't getting along they were doing things that they shouldn't have been doing and fighting and but anyway she wanted to abort me the only reason she did is because she couldn't come up with the money to do so so she gave me away thank goodness she gave me away to my dad's parents and I was able to be raised in the family but if we were aborted our children wouldn't be here. And then when our children have children, their children, it just keeps going. You just never know the possibilities and what you've taken away. And women that have abortions, they tell you that, you know, you won't, you know, you won't feel any different after. Yes, you will. You cannot fight nature. You cannot fight that emotional attachment you're going to have to that baby. Years and years down the road, you're going to think about how old that baby would be, what they would have looked like, if it was a boy or a girl. You're going to mourn that loss. And when you become old and you're all alone and you're single and you have no kids and you're in your big house, you're going to feel unfulfilled and you're going to think about those babies that you would have had and what adults they would be and what they would be doing and so on and so forth. I actually have women in my family, there's not many of them, and it's on my birth mother's side, that are feminists, very liberal, and they don't have children. They value their career and their money. Now, it was all fun and games when they were younger and beautiful and had all this money, but you know what? Now they're old, living in their big expensive house with all their fancy stuff. Now they're old and unfulfilled, and they have a house full of pets, either cats or dogs, and a medicine cabinet full of antidepressants. And that is true. That is real. Okay? So... Next thing is, we dehumanize the unborn in this country. It's all done by design by the left. Like I said before, they don't want us women to value being mothers. They want us to value our career. They want men to be feminine and women to be masculine. They want to break down a family unit because without a strong family unit, we can be easily controlled. They pit women and men against each other, blacks and whites against each other, now the young and old against each other. This is how they control us. They just want us to be a bunch of sheep in the matrix that they can control, that will just go to work every day and go home and pay these high-ass taxes to them so they can live a life of luxury and be powerful and do whatever they want to do. That's what's going on. And it's wrong. I mean, I don't know, a lot of you may not be religious and that's fine. It's not even about that. It's about science. Women were designed to be fierce mothers. We're created biologically to be fierce mothers and to protect our young even if it means us dying, even if it means us dying during the birth. We want our babies to survive. 
They're teaching women to go against that instinct and only care about them surviving. I know women that go get an abortion just because the doctor tells them early in the pregnancy, oh, the baby might be retarded. The baby might have something wrong with it. Might. So these tests are inconclusive half the time. And these women just go and do it. In fact, that's why my mother-in-law tried to abort my husband. She had a dental procedure. And they gave her a medication and said he might come out with some problems. So she just took their advice and went and did it. Luckily, it was unsuccessful. But they have women getting abortions just because they're having a boy. And they don't want a boy. They want another little girl or their first girl. So they go get an abortion. Or they have women getting abortions with their own husbands because they want their children a certain amount of time apart. I even knew of a girl that was due around Christmas and aborted the baby because she didn't want her child's birthday to be around Christmas. It is sick. It is evil what they're doing. So if you're watching this and you know you have children that are, I would say, 10 years or older, I would take them to go see this movie. It's a real eye-opener. And it's not as graphic as I thought it was going to be. So I guess the video is getting too long, so that's all I'm going to say for now about that. Um, comment below if you've seen the movie. What did you think about it? And I'll see y'all back on my next video. Oh, and real quick, P.S. I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers out there because I'm almost to 100,000. And the reason that my you know subscribers just will not reach 100,000 is because my channel was shadow banned a long time ago. All my videos are demonetized. Every time I upload a video before I even finish typing the title, it'll be demonetized. Um, surprise, they haven't taken the channel down yet. They've deleted some of my videos. I get harassed all the time, but shadow banning my channel means that a lot of people don't see my videos. They've deleted subscribers. A lot of times when my video goes up, I'll have like 100 likes within a few minutes, but I'll only have like 50 you know views so that tells you right there that I've been shadow banned so um, that's the reason for that so if you're watching this for the first time and you like what you see go hit that subscribe button and let's get this channel over a hundred thousand subscribers so we can get this message out and I suggest that if you watch other small channels to go support them too if you feel passionate about what they're talking about we need to you know get these messages out there so I'll see y'all back on my next video